I mean, we can also say the younger contestants can run faster than us in the kitchen also. Uh. <laughs> we have really have Actually, a lot of paid. people run faster yeah. than you. La. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>Hi, I'm Andy. I'm Jonathan. And I'm Naresh. And we're the finalists of Master Chef Singapore. Singapore. And today, we're going to read a series of assumptions about us. I don't know what assumptions are there about me. But um, yeah, let's Yeah, let's, but let's, whatever let's... it is, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> I think. You must know how to cook sweet and savoury dishes to be in the MasterChef competition. I think it's good to, to know both. If you're strong in one and you're not strong in the other, not that you can't enter yeah. the competition, but you've got to learn along the way and you've got to be a mm. fast learner. It yeah. always helps to have a balance of both, right? So, it's not a must, but it's highly encouraged. Yeah. The group challenges in MasterChef Singapore are simply chaotic shouting wars among the contestants. I don't know, green team was fine. Like you know why your green team was fine? <laughs> Because they shot you, you never reply them. Oh, okay, that's something I want to debunk too. <laughs> Me and Ilya had an idea where we want to prank the camera team, where we would end up in a scuffle. And... Squid Jelly. Andy, Andy. Yeah. But Ilya, in his interview, hey, Ilya, wow. not good, huh? but the things people say to make themselves look good on camera. So I want to point out something, because I think some people think that I'm a little selfish b on like episode 4. La. Yeah, I cannot not stir. If not, it will burn. Yeah, and I know, I know, I know. Just asking. Behind the scenes, right, you there's actually a lot of like crew members um, running around. So when you want to say something to your teammate across the kitchen, it's actually not that easy to be heard lah. And then you don't want to keep repeating, you know. I thought the best way to get my points across was to just yell across lah. When you turn this side, there's a mm. camera here. You turn this side, there's a camera. Someone keeps wanting to talk to you. <laughs> and it is a very, very, very long day, so... The competition is rigged. <laughs> it's all about personality and followers at the end of the day. Um, no, totally not true, right? I think it comes down to how well you can cook, how well you present your food, how well you cope under that pressure. Whether or not someone gets a good rating and manages to progress onto the next day, right? Oh. It has, it has already been pre-decided. So whether you hate this person or you like this person, right? It doesn't matter. Like the last dish is the most important. If yeah. this person it has been a forerunner, but then he or she like messes up, then he's he or she is dead lah. So um, your battle is for that day. Correct. Yeah. You are as good as your last dish until you cook your next. Just because people think we cook like good food and like nice food and for doesn't mean we eat good food or nice food. It wasn't fantastic and we really had to voice out. Okay. I don't think they're gonna add this. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I wanna say <laughs> Not that it we eat the same food. They get Michelin star, yeah. we get Michelin tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh one more, one more somebody asked me, hey Andy you wear cap all the time. Are you bald? <laughs> so to debunk this I'm not bald ah. I'm not bald I have hair. During the auditions for MasterChef Singapore, they don't just look out for the best. They also look out for the worst so that the show will be more entertaining. They don't look out for the worst, lah, but they look out for the more interesting characters. Whether you can cook in the show or not is a different thing. Yeah. You must minimum know at least how to heat up your pan, pour some oil and fry something. Or... But I mean, it is a reality TV, right? Yeah. So you need some form of entertainment. So I think they're also looking for characters that have that entertainment. We have a lot of different ca characters, characters but I think we all agree uh, Raj is a very good entertainer. Yeah. We got to give it to him uh, for his current age. He has a, like, a, like a youth soul. Some of the contestants in MasterChef Singapore think they are actors instead of chefs. <laughs> I've seen act this comment. Only. I have seen this comment. Whether or not it's an act. Yeah, yeah, whether or not it's an act, I'm not too sure. But I think off cameras, I think most of us, I mean all of us are quite nice. Quite. Uh, most, mostly, <laughs> I think. When the cooking actually starts, it's... It's, it's not actor. It's, it's real. The right? emotions, yeah. the yeah. tears, yeah. the laughter is all real. Sorry. Yeah. During that one hour cook, it's a legit one hour cook. We have to end when the clock stops. And but if people ever think that... Oh, one hour, really one hour. It is really one hour. It's really one hour. <laughs> it, the contestants don't need to wash their dishes after using it. That's why they just take and use the cook. Wear mindlessly. Of course okay. not. You know, you know <laughs> we, are all, we are all about sustainability. <laughs> okay. Safe water. Yeah, safe okay. water. So we let the crew. <laughs> you know how difficult it is to find stuff on the set 
there'll be one pot here and another pot there. So sometimes when you take and you find that you, you know, it's not the right one, you run and take another one. You don't have time to put things back. By the time the food is served to the judging table, it has become cold and tasteless. All right. Now, the good thing about MasterChef Singapore is that there is hot tasting. Okay, time's up. All the contestants leave. And that's where the judges would straight away come to our kitchen and they would actually taste the food when it's hot. Like how it should taste. When the presenting that one is, I think that's more for, for TV lah. It could be, yeah. but it, it is cool, but yeah. I don't think it's tasteless mm, yeah. lah. But you know, I feel like something that actually impressed me is that they are able to they wow, re after they eat already, uh, then they re and neck they re -neck, nah. reaction, you know. Exactly, they are yeah. really Wow, this is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> It's unfair to the younger contestants in MasterChef Singapore because being older means more years of cooking experience. For this season at least, we have people of, from different generations. Every generation, right, their thinking and their perception is very different. How Andy thinks is very different from how we both think and how we, like, how I think you is very different. First of all, <laughs> we're not same generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not same generation. No, no, I'm, uh. saying, I'm saying we're... Dude. I mean, we can also say the younger contestants can run faster than us in the kitchen also. <laughs> we have really have body Actually, a lot paid. of people run faster yeah. than you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Taste is actually very subjective to each individual. So the judges' decisions aren't always right. It's just the buyers talking. Oi, oi, oi. True, but again, there's not just one judge. There are three judges. Each one of them has like a certain flavour or taste that they like. I think the difficult part is trying to please everyone. Because you can please two of them and one of them you may not yeah. please. We are all like so-called cooks, right? Yeah. So we should know what tastes good or tastes bad. So that's why we. it's very important that you taste as you cook. To you, it tastes good. It should taste good to the judges. Yeah. Too. If to you it tastes good but it doesn't taste good to anyone else, then you shouldn't be on Master Chef lah. <laughs> After cooking Master Chef, they will learn to cook their dishes quicker and faster in their own homes. At home we don't have the pressure of like that one hour. Uh, like minutes, uh. if you have like two hours, why do I want to do it in one hour? You know what I mean? No, but like, then again, no why rush. would you want to cook fast in your house in your in your own home? Like yeah. what, what rush are you I in? Think at home, right? Because I'm quite messy. I don't even know where so I left. Cook, cook was right. Cook, cook yeah. was right. Lah. So. <laughs> During the restaurant takeover, right? Then he kept saying that my tabletop or my countertop was very messy. He was like, you have the biggest working space. Why are you the messiest? <laughs> hey, he said the same thing to me. Oh, he said the same thing to everybody. Yeah. What has changed since the master You um, have to behave more in public. Like, yeah. <laughs> I used to be like, yeah. Yeah, like the, this the other day, like, I was eating, and suddenly, like, one head pop up. Are you Andy from Master <laughs> I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have that Master Chef title, oh. right? Oh, you must cook for so, me, lah. Yeah, you yeah, must cook for me. I cook barely know me. you, bro. <laughs> oh, Master Chef food must be confirmed mm. nice one, lah, power one. Lah. <laughs> no, no, like, wow, eh, got that pressure already. <laughs> I think we all come into MasterChef with like a particular goal, right? I think after this show, I really like have a lot more respect for all exactly. the chefs yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think the one thing that I missed the most was... Uh... Me. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, actually the, it's actually the whole ambience itself. Like yeah. the, the yeah, set, yeah, the crew. Yeah. Um, you don't see things behind the scenes. Thank you for watching this episode of Assumptions About Me. If you like this video, remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And leave a comment down below on your favourite episode. Bye. Bye. See ya.